Well, gentlemen, that was a surprise. Oh, there she is. Hello, Pat, how are you? <laughs> now, guys, I want to ask you, your, your first audition was amazing because uh, you had the element of surprise. How difficult was, you, was it for you tonight to come up with a new idea? Well, we really wanted to develop the characters, as you can see, and uh, hopefully we've done that. There's, there's a whole you did. world of us, you know. There's a whole, whole industry of us. Yeah, wow. and I presume the Ant and Dead lookalikes were fully booked. That's, that's, <laughs> why, that's why I didn't bring that up. It's like, look it in the mirror, Amanda, it really is. Uh, let's go to the judges, see what they've made of it. Piers! Well, where have I gone? <laughs> where have I gone? You, you've got to open a supermarket in Swansea. <laughs> I mean, you finally... You finally... <laughs> 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 he's, he's got another book in. <laughs> yeah. um, look, I, the last bit was great because you finally had a good-looking uh, example <laughs> for the show. Here's why I buzzed you. I just feared when you came back that if you don't have the reveal, and you don't have the surprise factor, it's not going to be as entertaining as the audition. And that was how I felt. <laughs> We've already seen the surprise, um, so sorry. I, I think it's a really easy, obvious thing to say it's a one-trick pony. We knew that when we put them through. I think that tonight was funny still. I think that the audience were entertained. Um... I'm very briefly, I'm loving, I'm loving that I'm thinner. <laughs> I'm much thinner over there. <laughs> so, you you buzzed as well. You obviously, you obviously didn't like it. Well, look, Amanda is very easy to please. We all know that. <laughs> it's true. Um, and I totally agree with what Piers said. You know, once the, the fun of, you know, guessing who came out had already happened, it was just you guys dancing around in, in, in city shorts. Um, and it was just, if I'm being honest with you, pointless. OK. That's his opinion. The studio audience don't seem to agree. And if the audience... I think they do. <laughs> Well, it's not up to you, judges, again. It's up to the folks at home. If you think the Chip and Doubles should be back here tomorrow night for the big final, the number to call is on another number one, 32, 22, or one. Red button viewers can vote by pressing their red buttons. Don't vote now. Lines don't open until all eight acts have performed. Calls cost 50p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher. Mobiles will be considerably more. 15 pence from every vote goes to the Royal Variety Charity. Votes cast before the opening time will not be counted, but may still be charged. One more time, let's hear it. For tonight's first act, the Chip and Doubles! <laughs> That's it for part one, but there's still plenty more to come tonight, including a singer who hits all the high notes and a lady who's exploring the pole. We'll see you in a few minutes. live semi-final. We've already seen the first act of the night, but there are seven more desperate to win your votes and stay in the competition. Next up is a singer from Manchester called Liam. He used to sing in a group, but now he's gone solo. I didn't know he was in the competition. I wonder what Noel's going to say. <laughs> no, it's not that one. It's a different one. This is Liam McNally. What's your name? Liam, I'm singing. You are a serious contender to win Britain's Got Talent. Yes, for me. Yes, three yeses. We're going through to the semis. To be in the semi-final, it's just amazing. I wake up singing every day and I, and I go to sleep singing, so it's like my dream come true. This is a really sweet, innocent boy, I think, with an amazing voice. I live in New Moston, which is in North Manchester, and my dad's a news agent, and my mum is a nurse. I don't know where I get my singing from because my mum and dad are totally tone deaf, so... <laughs> Everyone in the family have either been drivers, nurses, no one's ever gone into singing before. But him to stand there on stage in front of everyone, can't explain in words how proud I am. Simon said in my first audition that I've got a short window until my voice breaks. You probably have what you have for another six, nine months. It's going to go. Simon's made me appreciate my voice and how long it's actually got left. We just keep saying, nobody knows what your voice is going to do when it breaks, so all you can do is your best. This is the last opportunity with this voice, and I need to grab it with both hands and just go for it. And here he is. Please welcome 
Liam McNally. You were a big hit with our viewers uh, when you sang Danny Boy in your first audition. Have you had a lot of attention from the show since since it went out? Yeah, I've been recognised real, uh, all over the place, really. It's just, it was unreal at first, but you're starting to get used to people asking for pictures and... <laughs> where's, where's the weirdest place you've been asked or recognised? On the bus. Uh, going to town. Um, <laughs> an old woman come up to me, she was all fluttered and I was like, calm down. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a normal guy, just calm down. Calm down, down, dear, it's just me. <laughs> well done, Liam. Well done, Liam. Let's see what the judges made of it, Piers. Well, Liam, you may remember Simon expressing some caution to you that your voice may break before we reach this point of the competition. And the good news is you only potentially have to hang on 24 more hours. <laughs> so <laughs> we're getting there. Um, I thought that was a fantastic performance. I actually was trying to work out if we've had a better singing performance in the competition, and I don't think we have. I think that was it. Wow. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Chris. Amanda. It was uh, really gutsy, really confident, and you just looked like you could go again. It's just, it's just, you, you, we, did you think it was good? Yeah. Did you I, enjoy it? Yeah, really enjoyed it. Honestly, a cracking performance. Thank well you. done. Thanks, Amanda. Simon. Uh, Liam, once again, you know, two times in a row, absolutely terrific. Audience loved it. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Fantastic comments from the judges there. You would do it again as well. If you want to see Liam in the final, the number to call is 09011 32 22 02. But remember, lines don't open until the end of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Liam McNally. That's it for part two, but we've still got six more acts that'll do anything to be back here for tomorrow night's big final. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere!